Welcome back to Awesome Lands Emerald, and we are covering Brain F. Of course, this is not the official name, but due to having a swear word, I'll not be saying it like the official one wants. Brain F is a tape based language which is mostly known for being one of the most popular Awesome Lands on Earth, and for its extreme minimalist design, which allows for tiny interpreters to be made. In fact, it's so tiny. It only has eight commands. Here are the commands. Plus adds one to the cell. Minus subtracts one from the cell. The greater than symbol moves the pointer to the right. The lesser than symbol moves the pointer to the left. Then the comma inputs an ASCII character. The period prints an ASCII character. The left square bracket makes you go past the matching right bracket if the cell is zero. And the right square bracket makes you go to the matching left bracket if the cell isn't zero. Also, let's talk about the tape. In BrainF, the tape is the only form of storage, which is very important. For this video, a red arrow can represent this pointer. It can move around and back. Also important are the cells on the tape. For demonstration, I have several numbers on the tape cells. The empty cells default to zero. The tape also goes on to infinity, but that's something for later. Or sooner. Who knows? Probably not in this video. Anyways, now for our first program. A cat program. First, it asks for input. Let's put in lowercase c. In ASCII, this is the number 99. You might be confused. Lowercase c is a 99? Yes, it's ASCII. ASCII assigns a number to all the English characters, numbers, and more. I hate how everything uses ASCII, but ASCII then we encounter the left square bracket. This checks if the current value is zero. If it is, then it would skip forward to the right square bracket. It is not, so we go to the period. This outputs lowercase c, as 99 is the ASCII value for it. The value that was outputted won't be modified if it is outputted. Then we are asked for another character, and then we meet the right bracket. The right bracket checks if the current cell is not zero. And if it is indeed not zero, it shoots you back to the matching left bracket. Amazing. Let's say we input lowercase a, or 97 in ASCII. This is not zero, which skips back to the left square bracket. It meets the period again, which outputs a lowercase a. What happens if we don't input anything? Then the number zero is put in the cell. When the right square bracket checks if the value isn't zero, it sees zero and doesn't go to the left bracket. Instead, it moves on. But since this is the end of the program, the program ends. Here's a quick program demonstrating the pointer. The first three greater than symbols Move the pointer to the right thrice. These pluses add one to the cell. With three of them, the value is now three. Who could have known? Here, we go back one cell and subtract one. Now, with many implementations of BrainF, 8-bit implementations specifically, this would underflow into 255. Since the cell is currently zero, this is what happens. Then we go back to the cell on the right and add 1. Here's the shortest Hello World program. Next video on the series, something probably more jokey, higher level, and most importantly, Lime Associated. Gimme all your money.